Hello viewers, welcome to Domestic News Update on Top Accolade News. First, the headlines. River State Governor pledges revitalization of Songhai Farm. Allegations and accusations surrounding Bola Tinubu's government. Tinubu snubs NJ coup leaders over terms for direct talks. Details coming up shortly. In politics, River State Governor pledges revitalization of Son Guy Farm in a significant move towards boosting agricultural productivity and economic development. River State Governor Sir Seminalai Fubara paid a visit to the Son Guy Farm located in the Thai local government area. Expressing disappointment over the current state of the farm, the governor has taken the initiative to bring new life into the facility. He committed to engaging various stakeholders and private investors to reinvigorate this once prominent agricultural project. Governor Fubara emphasized the importance of revamping the Songhai farm and visioning it as a cornerstone for agricultural advancement within the state. The revitalization efforts are expected to not only improve local agricultural output, but also stimulate job creation and economic growth in the region. The governor's dedication to this venture underscores his commitment to harnessing the potential of agriculture as a key driver of progress in River State. Stay tuned for further updates on this promising agricultural initiative. Moving on, allegations and accusations surrounding Bola Tinubu's government. Frank Shaibu, special assistant to Atiku Abubakar, has leveled accusations against President Bola Tinubu's government, claiming plans to stifle the media amid an impending FBI investigation linking Tinubu to heroin trafficking. Shaibu criticized the National Broadcasting Commission, NBC, for alleged bias and partisanship. He highlighted concerns about the treatment of media outlets and emphasized the need for the press to fulfill its role as a watchdog. The accusations underscore growing tensions and debates surrounding the accountability and transparency of public figures. Still in politics, Tinubu snubs NJ coup leaders overtures for direct talks. In the ongoing efforts to address the crisis in Niger, the head of the military junta in the country, General Abdurrahman Tichani, sought direct dialogue with Nigerian President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. This request was conveyed by a group of Muslim ulamas during a meeting in Abuja. However, President Tinubu declined the proposal, emphasizing the importance of upholding democratic governance and demonstrating respect for the still detained Nigerian President Mohamed Bazoum. The rejection underscores Nigeria's stance against engaging with an illegal government that came to power through a military coup. You are watching the news on top accolade news. Do stay with us. Still to come. Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. In business, NPA vows to eradicate corruption in ports with NPPM implementation. The Nigeria Port Authority NPA is determined to eliminate corruption in the nation's seaports through the implementation of the Nigeria Port Process Manual NPPM. Speaking at a seminar in Port Harcourt, NPA's managing director Mohamed Belo Koko emphasized the commitment to eradicate corruption in port operations. 
The NPPM aims to promote effective collaboration among agencies and address issues with and such documentations and clearance delays, ensuring a more efficient and transparent port system. On entertainment, Sheon Kuti's comment on Nera Mali's detention. Sheon Kuti, the Nigerian Afro beat singer and son to Fela Kuti, has delivered a candid statement regarding the recent detention of fellow musician Nera Mali. Drawing from his own experience of being detained, Sheon Kuti mentioned his contribution to renovating a prison cell and humorously remarked that Nera Mali would benefit from the improvements being made. This comment adds a unique perspective to an ongoing conversation surrounding Nera Mali's situation, intertwining music, activism, and a touch of humor. Still on entertainment, DeVito responds to accusations by NFF ex-president. Nigerian music sensation DeVito has responded to accusations by former president of the Nigeria Football Federation, NFF, Amaju Pinnock, regarding a performance at an event in Wari Delta State. Pinnock claimed that DeVito failed to fulfill the contract despite receiving payment. DeVito, countering the allegations, reaffirmed his dedication to reforming and performing across Nigeria. This exchange underlines the challenges and disputes that can arise in the entertainment industry, shedding light on the delicate dynamics between artists, organizers, and contractual agreements. In sports, River State Real Madrid Football Academy to commence regular academics. In an exciting development for young aspiring footballers, the River State Governor Simon Alai Fubara has given the green light for the River State Real Madrid Football Academy to begin regular academic activities and sports training. The academy aims to nurture talent and academic excellence in students aged 9 to 12. The 2023-2024 academic session is set to kick off with 66 carefully selected students, comprising both boys and girls, benefiting from this unique opportunity to train under the guidance of Spanish directors under the Real Madrid Football Club model. That concludes our domestic news update for today. Stay tuned for more national coverage and development. Thanks for joining us. I am Jonathan Powe. Connect and engage with us on all our social media handles. Do have a wonderful day.